The short-form document was publicly released on June 2008 by the Obama campaign, a year after it was issued by the Hawaii State Department of Health. Department Director Dr. Chiomi Fukino said on Friday, October 31, 2008, that she and the Registrar of Vital Statistics, Alvin Onaka, have personally verified that the Health Department holds Obama's original birth certificate. The governor was very angry because I stated the governor in Hawaii, who's a Republican, would not release the original birth certificate that they say they have on file. And Hawaii, the Department of Health that holds the birth certificate or says they have some records, won't show the public what those records are. The whole question could go away if President Obama would just say, okay, you all want to see the certificate? Here's my birth certificate. The controversy continues because Obama's original actual birth certificate from 1961 has never appeared in public. The short-form certification of live birth, generated in 2007, came from a Hawaii State Health Department database. If the original long-form birth certificate existed, it would identify the name of the doctor who delivered the baby, the hospital where the baby was born, and other vital statistics such as size and weight of the baby, and additional information about the parent's residency status. Had there been a hospital where Obama had been born, I'm sure that they'd have bronzed the delivery room by now and put a plaque on it. How come we haven't seen any you know, feature stories about the, the doctor who delivered the President of the United States, the room where he was born? seen pictures of the the exterior of this hospital why isn't the hospital using its public relations you know department to 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 bring attention to this facility well especially with all the attention on the issue i mean even the attending nurses at the hospital or the maternity ward nurses where barack obama's mother would have had to spend time after delivery could say i was there at barack obama's birth there's no one who's come forward from the medical community in Hawaii to validate that they were present or participated in any fashion in Barack Obama's birth. Well, that's again further evidence he probably wasn't born in Hawaii because everybody else has come forward. You can think, we've got basketball coaches from Barack Obama who was in basketball. We've got people from Chicago who were saying, you know, they followed Obama's career or were in the legislature with him. So there's not one living person that we've found who can testify with any authority that Barack Obama was actually born in Honolulu, but we do have an affidavit from a living person in Kenya who says she was there. His grandmother, Yeah, which should be a pretty legitimate or credible source, questioned by the Anabaptist ministers under oath in an affidavit swearing she was President Obama's birth in Mombasa, Kenya. We don't have the school records. You know, I got out of Indonesia the records from the schools Obama attended when he was about six to ten years old, attending with his Muslim stepfather. Mm -hmm. And Obama was listed in those records as an Indonesian citizen and as Muslim. Now, did he have a passport from Indonesia? When he shows up, when Obama shows up at Occidental College, mm -hmm. uh, what, okay, he it ends up rooming with a group of Pakistanis. Now, did he register as a foreign student? The whole issue is why can't we see the school records? What kind of uh, scholarships did Obama get? Uh, did he have a Indonesian passport when he traveled to Pakistan? I mean, these are fundamental records. And for someone who's president of the United States to stonewall and not release the fundamental records of their life history invites scrutiny because these become mysteries that people will want to know the answers to. People say, well, you know, his mother was a citizen of America. The, the case closed. The, it, not enough, you know, that, that alone sir, shows that he's a, he's a U.S. citizen. Not, not the case. Because according to the federal law, uh, this is uh, referring to births abroad, December 24th, 1952, November 13th, 1986, that, that the federal law at that time is this. If you, have, if you have two parents who are American citizens, guess what? You're an American citizen, no matter where you're born. Okay, all right, we know that. All right, but if you have only one parent who's an American citizen, get a load of this, that they have to, at the time of your birth, that they have to have at least 10 years of residency in the United States, five of which happen to be after the age of 14. 
Barack Obama's mother, Stanley Dunham, is somebody who was 18 at the at the age of of her of Barack's birth, not 19. People say, "Oh, you're nitpicking. Oh, that's ter-. the law is the law." Why wouldn't Hillary Clinton have found out the truth about his ineligibility and used it against him in the campaign? Hillary was raising these questions. She was asking around the edges about where Obama was born and what his parents were and what the heritage was. She tried it very early. And I think the reaction within the far left of the Democratic Party indicated she wasn't going to get very far with Democratic leftist voters pursuing that line. So she dropped it. Uh, there was a notice published in one of the, the Honolulu Advertiser, that this little two or three line notice of birth, and it listed an address. Uh, we went to that address and the neighbors said they didn't remember any family living there with a uh, African-American baby. You mentioned factcheck.org and one of the things, uh, I, I don't know if you have there the latest I version have. of uh, what factcheck.org actually reports, but what's interesting to me is that they confirm the central thesis of what is behind our reporting on this issue. Basically that you've got a certificate of live birth, which we've seen, and they explain what a certificate of live birth is. Mm -hmm. And they also further explain that even with them, factcheck.org has asked for, from the Obama people and from Hawaii, for the copy of the long form birth certificate and they've been denied. And that's confirmed by factcheck.org, uh, which is cited by members of Congress as as suggesting this matter has been settled. Well, it's interesting that you spilled out, and I, I, I was very, very impressed that you went to the trouble to write all of these people in Congress mm-hmm. and see what they had to say about it. And what did they all do? They all pointed to, well, it's online. Check out, check out those Obama websites. They're all online. Right. And, and what's interesting is, and this is from Arlen Specter, and he's just one of many that said, well, you know, the website fact check, that's, that's, what, that's what has shown this. And it's, to me, astounding that no governmental branch, whether it would be a state attorney general or the Federal Elections Committee or the Electoral College and the people who participated in the Electoral College, or the Supreme Court in refusing to hear these cases. It's gonna take millions of Americans which are now getting to demand the birth certificate be shown. Because this is, we just want the truth. And guess what? Those who wanna stand for truth, those who stand for the Constitution, it's really not that extreme of a position after all. Mr. President, I want to believe, I want to trust, I want to hope for change, but I am really failing to see how this is any different. He's not going to succeed. Socialism has failed. Our country's less less safe today. Obama declared the end to the war on terror. Is this the change that America voted for? You can't break all your campaign promises. To start with this blame America. People, we have to have the conversation of, do you want socialism or not? Do you want universal health care or not? Is this a pre-9-11 mentality? Liberal utopian vision. March to socialism. Take this country as far left. We hear about change. There's no change in this group. End of capitalism as we know it, Bill of 2009. Barack Obama was elected by, mostly by black races and white guilty people. Now it's not parents who are going to take care of kids anymore. It's Uncle Nanny. Some are wondering if the honeymoon is already over. We're starting to look at fascism. He went on a jihad against, against lobbyists. Closer to Jimmy Carter. Closer to communism. The new socialist regime addicting this country to heroin. He's a one-term guy. There is real dishonesty in this man. Closer toward socialism. This is a major milestone for America. Not necessarily a good one, though. President Obama is scheduled to sign the $787 billion stimulus bill. Is anybody else a little up by that? Jeff Sessions of Alabama says it is a walk down the road toward socialism. Is that a valid point? It's closer to socialism. Sounds like the honeymoon is over. Not exactly glowing grades for the president. Obamanomics really taking the U.S. toward socialism? If you think the president is overreaching, how long can President Obama blame President Bush for America's problems? Stop the doom, the gloom, the malaise, the fear. Liberal vision of a giant nanny state. It's plans to go after gun owners. The president has declared a war against prosperity. To see our money, our tax dollars, 
way. Depending on your point of view, President Obama's new budget is a statement of our national values or a socialist experiment. And a path towards socialism. Barack Obama's agenda towards socialism. He wants to drive the Dow down to zero and then just kind of start from scratch. <laughs> turn this turn towards socialism back. Obama's bear market. I think he wants a catastrophe. Can this now fairly be called the Obama bear market? What you worry about you is your motivation. Communism. I read an article that said the Manchurian candidate couldn't destroy us faster than Barack Obama. Wreaking havoc on the country. The socialism that you've been waiting for. We have now the extreme left driving the agenda. I'm a guy that voted for Obama, and I, I feel betrayed. Barack Obama's Ponzi scheme. A delusional quest for historic grandeur. Barack Obama may bankrupt the country. They care that he's bankrupting our economy. Duke's Coach K has a message for President Obama. It's the economy, stupid. He promised transparency. He promised bipartisanship. This is a violation of all of those promises. Does President President Obama want to take us into the 60, 70, 80, 90 percent uh, income tax range. What's a nice girl like you doing in the Obama White House? There he is on 60 Minutes. Steve, it was bizarre. Laughing it, was... it up. We are heading toward a one world sort of government. I think Obama probably likes that. This is Joseph Stalin without the bloodshed. Literally struggling every time he has the thing on his feet. Our country is in major economic trouble and the Obama's making it right. worse. It's an eventual control over all big business. That's the ultimate goal of the administration. Obama has horribly insulted the British. Will you drive a stake through the heart of the bloodsuckers. You can call it corporatism, you can call it socialism, you can call it fascism. It's a little early to declare a presidency failed, although I would like to do it. Another thing that would have got you beheaded in Henry VIII's realm. Obama attacks America. How crazy Obamanomics is going to get. Some comparing President Obama's plan to the founding fathers of socialism. Has a little bit too much of this blame America vibe going on. He's on an apologizing for America tour. Bowing to the Saudi king. Obama is apologizing to the Frenchy French for our arrogance. If he listens to his intimate advisors, the pirates will get a bailout package like everybody else. Why? the president now urging additional action on the economy should this good news tell him we just don't need it Obama is completely polarizing wondering why he would put Europe above America but if you have a Ron Paul bumper sticker you, you might be viewed as a radical by the government fascist stimulus package Bill Ayers the Reverend Wright. Is there anything that he likes about this country? Lockstep down this, uh, you know, the socialist path. If you support policies that hurt our country, you'll get a handshake and an embrace. And embracing and fist bumping and, and, and making lovey-dovey in the hotel. God knows what went on behind closed doors. Exactly what happened uh, to the lead up with Hitler. We have a president whose foreign policy can only be described as anti-American. Day number 94 of change that makes us less safe and secure. Banana Republic politics. Is Obama going to show spine for the first time in his presidency? Is Obama a radical figure in American politics? He went on foreign soil and apologized for America. We're celebrating the first 100 days of Barack Obama's 100 tenure. 100 days of America going down the yeah, drain. Well, is President Obama's handling of the troubled economy a signal that we are creeping toward socialism? It was only 100 days. It's, <laughs> it seems longer, but doesn't it? We seem to have made a lot of mistakes until he took office, so we had a lot of politics. When you apply for the bar and so forth in Illinois, uh, you actually have to list all the names that you might have lived under, right? Right. And he puts down Barack Obama, but he doesn't put down Barry Soetero, I think, or Soetoro, which is the, the name he took from his Indonesian father, right? Uh, he didn't put that down. Well, that suggests that in that particular instance, he didn't tell the whole truth, right? Right even though the whole truth was asked for. List all the names mm -hmm. that you have gone by. Um, so already we have an indication that there might be a pattern of deception. Uh, that would raise the possibility that the whole election was conducted on the basis of such deceptions.